Hi, I'm Christy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to do an updated bookshelf tour. <laughs> All right, so the last time that I did a bookshelf tour was last year, so it was for 2023. And like I said, it's been a year and I've been waiting to do a bookshelf tour because I'm always like, okay, let me wait until I have these special editions in, or I know I'm getting these books in, or I'm going on a book signing, I'm gonna have new books to bring in. So it's been forever because I've just been putting it off of when to film it when I feel like my bookshelves are perfect. But like, let's face it, my bookshelves are never gonna be perfect. They're always changing. So like, why not just do it now? Because I recently put a bunch of books on the shelves, redid every single shelf, have them exactly how I want it, for right now. And I also pulled off a bunch of books that I might film a book unhaul for, which I've never filmed a book unhaul on my channel. So let me know if you'd want to see that. It's going to be probably like hundreds of books, not going to lie. Tons and tons of books, which I'll probably resell, give away, or take them to like a used bookstore for like trade credit. So I might film that at some point. We'll see. So anyways, why not just do a quick bookshelf tour and I'm going to go down through every bookshelf and just kind of give you an overhaul. I have other bookshelves in this room that are kind of behind you over here. There's shelves over here. There's a shelf right next to you that you can't even see. Those ones I'm not going to show. I'm just going to show like my main bookshelf that's always behind me because that's the one that I'm happy with how it looks. The rest are kind of like in progress or books that I don't always talk about showcase slash I'm going to maybe move them around at another time. So we'll see. But anyways, let's do a bookshelf tour. <laughs> Here is just an updated of my book of the month books, hardcovers as well. These are from all of the signings that I go to. I always get those signed with like the cityscape, which I just have them up there in like floating frames. And then I have a couple extra candles up there and this adorable little dragon stuffy that I got from the Tessa Hale book box. All right, we'll start down here on the far left. So these are historical romances, like my favorite. So we have Elizabeth Hoyt up there. These are all like double stacked and I'm not gonna like pull them out. Lorraine Heath, I have all of her books, the first editions, like Step Backs, all of those things. More Lorraine Heath, like I said, those are like double stacked as well with a ton more of hers. We have Lisa Claypis. Again, I have all of the like original ones and they're double stacked as well. More Lisa Claypis, her four originals. I have all of her books, all of her first printings, the Step Backs, all of those things. We have my Beverly Jenkins down here. Again, I have all of her books. I've read all of her historicals, love them so, so much. And then at the very bottom, we have some Kerrigan Byrne and Lenora Bell and just like a couple other like Amelie Howard and Stacey Reed favorites down there. All right, so this first shelf, we're just gonna go through them quickly. I'm not gonna pull everything out. There are books behind books as well. I'm not gonna pull those out either. So this first one is just kind of like mafia favorites. We have some A. Zavarelli, have some Cora Riley like special editions. We have Aniva Altej, we have B.B. Easton, Love Devil of Dublin so much, Mila Finelli's. We have some special editions of the Sophie Lark, the Bully, and then her other like kind of serial killer duet, which is There Are No Saints, There Is No Devil. Then we have a special edition bind up like Omnibus of J.T. Geisinger, the Beautiful Cruel duet. Have some special edition covers of J.T. Geisinger's two in her Queens and Monsters series. So Ruthless Creatures, Carnal Urges, those are the first two. Have Violent Delights by Jessica Hawkins is one of my favorites. It's Mexican Cartel. Love that one. The whole series is so good, but like book one, so good. <laughs> then here we have my Sophie Larks. So these are the Brewer Birthright series. These are all like the original ones. Well, these ones are, this one's like this print is like a special edition Hell Lovely did. But I don't even own the first one of that like in the mail covers just because it's not my favorite but like the special edition one I love. And then this little cute trinket I got from a book signing from Sophie as well for Brutal Prince. If you've read it you know. And then obsessed with the neon of these ones. This is the Kingmaker series. First four I don't have the last one which I might have to find that because like the originals are no longer in print but anyways. And this next shelf is kind of a sports romances. So again I have books behind books and I'm not going to pull all those out. So some of these I have like multiple editions of whether they are original printing, special editions, multiple special editions. So for the most part I just have like one of the book out and like I'll have others behind it or special editions, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. You get it. And then again, I just like having these cute little trinkets that I get from book boxes or from authors or candle companies, whatever to like kind of match the theme of that shelf. So let's see, first up we have the Fight Game series by Nikki Castle. These, yes, I have multiple editions of five rounds. These are all special editions. I have the original one as well, which is back there. Two fights, the second one in the series, and we have three count. I have two special edition covers here. Then one last shot is book four, and book five actually is on its way to me, which is a fourth degree that I loved so much. 
this one and the last one, four and five, they don't have special editions yet. So I have their like original ones out here. The other originals are like back there. <laughs> then here we have some hockey favorites. So I have two from Elle Kennedy, her off campus series. These are the current series she's writing, which is a second gen. If you read off campus and Briar U, these are like the children's stories, which I'm loving. The Graham effect is out now. The Dixon rule, I got an arc of it actually comes out this month. Can't wait to read that one soon. Some more hockey favorites, Unsteady by Peyton Corinne. I love this book so much. Obsessed, obsessed. Need to read it. Emotional. So good. Mental health rep. So good. <laughs> Iced Out, MM, Hockey Romance by C. Ricky, one of my favorites of last year. Love this book so much. True enemies to lovers, rivals, they play on the same hockey team. So good. Then we have some Avery Keelan's Offside and Shutout. I love those books so, so much. Then we have another Iced Out, but a different author. So this is Veronica Eden. I love this one a ton too. These are all college ones. Then Matching All the Way is the second one from Veronica Eden. It kind of follows like a whole year with a character and she's the coach's daughter. And he is the assistant coach of the hockey team. And he used to play hockey. Anyways, they're so good. Love all those, like I said, favorites. This is a special edition of Love and Hockey by Moni J. Enjoyed this one. It's very like emotional and angsty. Read it recently. Super good. Then we have Home Run Proposal by Maren Moore. Baseball Romance. This is a special edition. Love it so much. I have the original. Again, originals are like back there. And these are just like favorites out here, like the special editions of them, I should say. Then we have Burnout by Rebecca Jinchak. Read this one recently and loved it so much. Motocross Hero. Heroine is an Olympic gymnast. They banter. They have to train together. So good. Then we have Wildcat by Rebecca Jinchak as well. This is a special edition that she had last year. She has it on her website as well and she's redone or has done the rest of the series as well to match. So I really love the like grooviness of it. I'm not going to pull these out. I might do like a whole pull out of every special edition in another video coming later, but not today. <laughs> so yeah, this is a start of her Wildcat hockey series. I love that series so much. Then we have Meet Your Match by Candy Steiner. We have Weak Side by SJ Silvis. Love this one. This is a special edition as well. So, so good. This one is the Puck Secret by Gian Wright. Loved that one. Then we have Third Baseman, Lula Moore Baseball, Second Chance, Throttled by Lauren Asher. This is a F1 series and I really enjoyed this one as well. So those are all like special editions that I have out and I have like some matching PR scent like either candles. We have cute little things from the authors. This was like for Love in Vegas. SJ Silvis did like a little poker chip and then we have like hockey pucks for her series as well, as well as some candles. This is for C. Ricky's. This is a Stella Candle Co. like collab they did. Another hockey puck. We have this adorable like hockey puck pen that I love as well. All right, next is my Kennedy Ryan and more like emotional. So we have like some Brittany C. Cherry here as well. So I have just like most of my Kennedy Ryan's out. Like I said, there's more behind there because some of these I have like multiple copies of multiple special editions. It's a whole thing when you're a book collector as well as a reader. <laughs> so first we have Real and the kind of Hollywood Renaissance Hoops novella, which is the close up that kind of ties to some of these series together. So again, Real, and we have all of the Hoops series and we have Grip and different like editions of that series. This is a real special edition that I love. It's purple and so pretty. This one is, but these are all special editions actually. So Hookshot, this was one that Bell Book Box did years ago. Hoop Shorts is one that I think Lucy Eden, I think is the author who did like a whole like special edition of that. Long Shot, this is the Hello Lovely special edition from years and years ago. And then we have the originals of The Kingmaker and The Rebel King, some of my favorites from Kennedy. It's so good. Love this duet so much. Queen Move kind of goes with it and it's kind of like a spinoff slash another character you follow, but like these two are duet. This one's its own like new romance. Then my Britney C. Cherry. So we have a special edition of Southern Storms. This one actually came with the Hoop Shots one. So have that up here. And then we have the original like Elements series. I love this series so much. Just these three though. I don't really love the other one in the series, which is the highs and lows or something like that. Anyways, love these three. <laughs> and then we have Eleanor Gray, one of my favorites of all time, favorite Britney C. Cherry book. So emotional. Hers are emotional. If you want to cry, read her books. <laughs> Disgrace, Loving Mr. Daniel, The Holly Dates. Those are like special editions from the different book boxes. All right, then down here, we just get into some more authors, kind of like more steamy, I guess you could say. So over here are all of my Nikki Sloan's. Most of these are going to be like special editions that I have together. So I love her books. They're super enjoyable. Have a special edition of JL Seegers, which I loved. Restore Me. The words by Ashley Jade, then some of these are just kind of like emotional or different or whatever. I don't have a place for them. So these two are from Bryn Weaver, like collab she did. This first one is with like Alexa Harlow, I want to say. This one is by with Trisha Wolf. They are serial killers and so, so good and dark. I know her like newest one, which is what the Butcher and the Blackbird or whatever. That one gets like more hype and is more like rom com -y, dark, witty humor. These ones are like so good and actually dark, like love them. Then I have a couple Emily McIntyre here. So we have Scarred and Cross, my two favorite in the Never After series. Then we have some Sierra Simone. So these are all either like special editions or just like favorites that I love. So there are those and the little matching 
candle. All right. And then this shelf as well as like some more sports romances as well as just like some others that I don't know where they're going to go, but that's where they're going for now. So here are some more hockey favorites. We have some classics from L. Kennedy, then some special editions of Macaulay Smeltzer, Tegan Hunter. And then I have my rest of my Tegan Hunters as well as some special editions like mixed in there. And then we have Hannah Cowan. We have another Veronica Eden of Iced Out that I love that book so much. That's a special edition from Eternal Embers, I want to say. And then we have Mariana Zapata, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. And then from Luke Off with Love. This is a special edition as well from Fairy Loot. So, so pretty. And then some others. These are just like special editions that maybe were up top with my other sports ones or like Overflow that I didn't have space for up there, but that I love. And then these are just kind of like some other ones that don't really belong or have a place yet. And so I just kind of stuck them here. So we have a lot of Claire Kent, which these are like post-apocalyptic. So good. This one is sci-fi spacey that I love as well, but the rest of these are post-apocalyptic. And then we have this Emily McIntyre and Grimstone by Sophie Lark. This one's like more um, romantic suspense that I really enjoyed. And then this one I haven't read it yet. I think it's like, I don't know, darker academia, maybe something. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> All right. And then up here is my cutie cutie Catherine Cowles shelf that I love so much. I recently had to redo those because I had so many special editions from her, which I'm not mad about. So these are all special editions from Catherine Cowles, either from her or from book boxes. Then I have my arcs of Fragile Sanctuary. I actually got two because at Reader's Take Denver, I was an assistant for her line. And so got one there and then didn't know they were doing like surprise mailers to her like launch team as well. So I got that as well in the mail, which are different colors because they did different tropes for them. So this one's the Grumpy Sunshine. And then this one is the Brother's Best Friend, two of my favorite tropes. So I'm not mad about having both of those. Loved it so much, right? It comes out May 16th. So, so good. <laughs> this is a Bookbo kind of collab thing that she did with Bookbo and Lila Junko with her tarot cards that she created for Catherine's books, like a book sleeve. So have that there. Then we have just like the original editions of Catherine Cowell's books. So we have her Lost and Found series, then what her like Wrecked series, I want to say, possibly. Yeah, Wrecked series. And then we have more um, Tattered and Torn series. These are so cute. Got these adorable, adorable stickers from Readers Take Denver. So this one's so cute. It says like small towns and serial killers. Catherine Powell's detective. Adorable. We had like matching shirts for the signing as well to wear of those, which was so cute. And then these two are Lila Junko cards that she's doing for her signings this year. So this one's just like her in general. And then this one is for like the Denver signing. And then she's gonna have one for like Book Bonanza and that. And they'll be like themed for the cities, which I think is such a cute idea. And then this is a necklace that came in one of her like book boxes for one of her releases. And then Small Town Romance as well. Cause I mean, yeah, she's Small Town Queen. Down here, pretty self-explanatory, Sarah J. Mass, the start of my Sarah J. Mass. So this is a Throne of Glass, and then it goes into Board of Thorns and Roses series. I have these dust jackets on mine right now, which are all like from the Dusty Shop. I also have other dust jackets. Like I think my books have like maybe three or four dust jackets now that I just kind of change out when I want, and they're all just like stacked on top of each other. Anyways, beginning of Sarah J. Mass, which goes into over here as well. We'll get to that one in a bit. All right. And then down here are just kind of like ones that I thought were pretty or emotional or whatever. My books are just kind of themed. Like some of them, like you can see are by trope. Some of them are just like what I think look pretty together, the colors, whatever the vibes. Anyways, makes sense to me. So we have a Sea of Rowan by Pam Godwin. I have four copies because I love them so much. This is the original. These three are special editions. June 1st by Jennifer Hartman. Again, two special editions and then the original. And we have some Emma Scott. We go into Carrie and Cole. I love Torn so much. We have the Something in the Way series by Jessica Hawkins. So good. Emotional angsty. Hot mess, but definitely best binged together because they're so good. <laughs> then we go into some, like some more other ones by Elizabeth O'Rourke. So these are all Elizabeth O'Rourke. And I have like a matching candle for her Devil series as well. I've read all of her books and love them. Down here are just more like emotional, steamy. We have a little bit of sports in here. So let's see. We have a Jennifer Hartman duet, The Optimist Guide to Heartbreak, and A Pessimist Guide to Love, two of my favorites from her. This is a duet, and I love them so, so much. Then we have some C. Ricky. We also have some Marley Valentine, the one that they did together as well. Love all of theirs. I think they're always MM. So emotional, so good. We have then my QB Tyler. I only have like QB Tyler's books in special editions, which I'm not mad about because they're all so stinking pretty. If you want Forbidden and Age Gap, definitely recommend QB Tyler. Her books are all on KU. Then we have some of my cat Singleton. Love hers as well. She's a billionaire one. And then as well as like Small Town. I really enjoy her books. Then some like just didn't have a place for them. So this is All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata, which I still need to read. And then we have my Carla Sorensen. So these are the Washington Wolves collection bind up that she did at a signing. And then like two of her other favorite that I have. Some others down here. This shelf is just kind of like pink and cute and fun, colorful. No really like rhyme or reason. So these are by authors. So we have Kate Canterbury special edition. And then we have a bunch of Morgan Elizabeths, her special editions as well. Then we have The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford, one of my all-time favorites. 
Elle Kennedy, just like I said, it's pink, it goes. We have the fake May and Alana Ferguson's The Nanny. Love both of those so much. This one's a special edition. We have Christina Forrest, love that one. And then some more like they're just colorful and fun. Ashley Poston, we have Ashley Herring Blake, my favorite from her, Sapphic Romance, so good. A couple of Kennedy Ryans just because they fit in here and they go. And then we have my Melanie Harlow. So a bunch of like special editions and favorites from her. And then at the bottom down here, hopefully you can see these are just kind of like Christmas ones as well as just like overflow of like some emotional ones. I still need to figure out where to put those, but Christmassy ones, a lot of novellas. They're all holiday ones though. All right. And then up here is the start of my Daphne Perry collection. So I put these ones in rainbow order because a lot of her series have a similar colors and they look good like this. So I have overflow of Daphne Perry over here as well because she has so many books. I read all of her books. These are like favorites. She's not really a favorite author anymore but I have good memories with a lot of these books so I don't know her writing has kind of changed but I love her old stuff more anyways that was a long explanation let's get into this so these are just kind of like all of her books kind of favorites like I said they're mixed up in different series order just because of the rainbow effect that I really like and it looks good in the background of photos so that explains that some candles that match her books this is for Jimper Hill and this is just for the Edens series. And this is my overflow of Sarah J. Mass from over here. So it just kind of continues. So this is the Crescent City series. I have two special editions. So this one is one of them is from Fairy Loot and one of them is from Illumicrate. Love both so much. Love this series. Obsessed. Have reread them countless times, all of her books. Can't get enough of them. I could talk about her books forever, but we're not going to. <laughs> then we have a couple other like kind of fantasy paranormally books that are favorite. So this is the Book of Azrael by Amber V. Nicole. Then we have Fairy Dale by Veronica Lancet. Haven't read it yet, but I plan to and it's so pretty. And then just like a gold book because why not? And down here are just some more that I think look pretty together. <laughs> so again, most of these are going to be Gianna Darling the special editions. We have like a one mix in here of this is the Mind F series by Lana Ferguson that Mystic Box did. And then we have The Good Game by Madison Fox just kind of fits the like red serial killer and murdery vibes. <laughs> and then like I said, a bunch of Gianna Darling special editions. I have more editions of my two favorites, which is Welcome to the Dark Side and Inked and Lies. Just don't have them out. They're kind of like behind the books, but I have like multiple editions of those ones. Then my Penelope Douglas collection. So all of their special editions that I love so so much have the original like Mystic Box Birthday Girl, one of my favorites of all time. I reread it recently again for like the fourth or fifth time. Can't get enough of that book. And then again some matching candles. This a these are both by Hell Lovely. That one's for Jonna Darling. The other one was for Penelope Douglas. All right and then getting into some more small town ones. So this is kind of like my Laura Pavlov as well as others. First up another adorable candle. This is for After the Storm by Stella Candle Coat. Came in like the PR box for After the Storm which love it because it's my favorite book from Laura. Love it so much. So these are all special editions of hers first and then these are her like original books or whatever like the original covers. And then we have some Samantha Young up here. Her Highland series Romantic Suspense set in Highland is so good. Then we have some other this is a Samantha Young special edition. Then we have the Ashley Munoz. I need to put the third book here because I just got it in recently and I didn't. I don't know why. Whatever. So this is the Stone Writers MC Club. Small town MC. So good. They just get better and better. And some other kind of small town or overflow. The Love Light Farm series. Love it so much. And then we have the Heartless Candle because it doesn't fit down here on the next shelf which has my Elsie books. So this shelf is just kind of like more small town as well as like cowboy westerny themes. So a lot of special editions and books that kind of match that vibe and then the colors as well some of them like you're gonna be like that's not small town that's not cowboy but listen it goes with the author and it matches the colors of the whole shelf okay so it's a thing <laughs> so then yeah some books here and then my lcs these are all the couple covers and like a special edition of flawless because that's actually one i don't own slash didn't love so i have a special edition cover there instead and then down here is candy steiner as well as some other like overflow books so she has so many special editions and then just some of her like other books i love all of her books so much i think i've read them all except for maybe her original two in the PSU series. Love her books. And then just some overflow of other like authors that are kind of like steamy or novellas or Queen Halley or whatever. <laughs> all right. And then this one is the, like I said, overflow of Devin Perry continues over here. These are all like special editions or editions that she put out herself, more special editions of her books. And then we go into some other small towns. We have Corinne Michaels, special editions and A.L. Jackson, like the originals and special editions as well. And these are kind of like my, I guess, steamy, emotional, kind of forbidden-y books. So we have Jennifer Hartman, have a crap ton of her special editions, have even more behind for Still Beating. I have so many copies of that book. But anyways, those are just a few of the favorites out. Older by Jennifer Hartman, love that one recently too, her newest release. And we have Dark Notes by Pam Godwin. Just really loved how all these golds shine and go together. Then my Katarina Mora collections. We have King of Grey by Anna Huang. So, so good. Marriage in Trouble, Obsessed, Second Chance, Sarah Kate special edition. And then these kind of go into my Sarah Kate books, which these are all special editions. I have like the original 
people covers behind here, but these are like the cover to cover editions, as well as some like signing exclusives that she did. All right, and then down here is my Ruby Dixon and Monster Shelves. So I will move these tins. So Ruby Dixon have all the original Ice Planet Barbarians. And then just like more of her because I love her books so much. Got all these signed at Book Bonanza last year or the ones I had then. Have some other ones in here that I haven't gotten signed like her Risdiverse series and her newest um, Ice Planet clones series that she's writing. Some special editions from Book Bonanza last year. Her Fireblood Dragon series which I'm obsessed with my favorites. And then like some monstery romances and novellas and special editions and things on that shelf. Then down here is more fantasy and special editions as well. All right, so we have my Jess Wise Cup special editions. We have Glow of the Everflame by Penn Cole, obsessed. Then have all of my Juliet Crosses, which I love so much, paranormal romance. These ones up here are wolf shifters that I'm obsessed with. And then, like I said, just more kind of fantasy special editions from Grace Draven, special edition omnibus of from Nikki St. Crow from the Novel Grounds, and then some special editions and just like some other monstery faves as well. And then at the very, very bottom is some overflow of historical romances, which well, most of my historical romances are on another shelf in here, as well as kind of hidden behind some of these. So that's the whole thing. <laughs> All right. And then over here, we have some historical romances, as well as like fantasy and paranormal kind of like sprayed edges or special editions that are just pretty together with my little lovely plant over here as well. So again, just some more favorites and sprayed edges and all of those things over here. And then we have these shelves I still need to work on, but they're like historical romances and like a bunch of overflow, but you get the idea. All right. So like I said, that was just a really quick rundown of my main bookshelves and just like a quick overview tour. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Like I said, I think I'm going to do like a more in-depth one where I literally pull out every single special edition and show you because I've been meaning to film a special edition tour in probably years now and I need to get to it and I will I promise it'll be coming so now that they're all kind of in their place I feel like I can pull them out and kind of sit down and do that one day so that will be coming soon as well so hopefully you enjoy that I have to go hop on a live show so that was kind of quick just a quick rundown hopefully you enjoyed let me know in the comments if you saw any books on here that are your favorites as well or any of those things or some books that I said I hadn't read that you're like you need to read that tell me that as well if you'd rather leave me an emoji in the comments instead today let me know that you watch this video maybe leave me a car emoji I know you're gonna be like why am I leaving a car emoji when you just talked about your bookshelves but I'm wearing my <laughs> getaway car shirt from Taylor Swift and so it has a car on it. So anyways, put a car in the emojis. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.